I did that, and now, as you guys look, see, wait, you know, I just sat the mode, okay, as you can see, we recruit as many colonies as, uh, commies, not, com not commies, recruitment, we recruit as many soldiers as we can, all across the board, um, we maxed out on Korea, I didn't realize that, so, um, what I'm gonna do is, this fleet that I conveniently forgot until just this last minute, I'm gonna go send some of these guys to go over here and help with our Korean defense, you know, because right now our Korean defense isn't the greatest in the world, and, you know, I'm gonna blatantly say it, if we were to be attacked by the Chinese, which could have happened just now with our war, we probably would have gotten our, our butts kicked. I mean, that's how, it does not look like we would do anything against them, okay? So I'm gonna try to defend myself and just start thinking about strategic points because you know, our colonies are basically our strategic liabilities, and, you know, we really do need to kind of keep them safe, so I'm hoping that all these soldiers, because I did recruit a lot of new soldiers, will help keep our colonies safe from the impending invaders. Over here in our main colonies, though, we really just gotta build big armies again, because we have nothing defending us. And, you know, as you can see, the Germans already have way more of an army than we do on their borders, and they aren't even really fighting. So, you know, if the Germans really wanted to attack us right now, we would be sitting ducks. And, um, something sad to note that kind of brought a tear to my eye is when I switched over to communism, which, suppression power, wow, I really gotta use this more. Uh, suppress, please suppress this, I really don't need that. Um, please suppress this, and please suppress this, I really don't need any of those movements. Um, but anyways, wow, I'm, I'm, I feel like I'm slowly becoming dictators. That's, that's not good, but we fleet, you know, I'll counteract that with the fact that we fleet a lot of nations while we were also being complete idiots. Anyways, what I was going to say is that while we were doing stuff, um, our newspaper became from Le Temps to the Le Communiste. Le Communiste. Le Communiste. Le Communiste? Or is it Le Commune? Le Commune. I think it's Le Commune. Le Communiste. Anyways, we're, that's... That was one of those things that happened in the new HOD update. They basically, basically every time a newspaper, every time a new government type, I mean a real government like the liberals take power or the um, conservatives take power, the name changes. So now we're the Le Communiste. You know, I would have liked it to be like the Le Commune. That would have been, I think, a way better name. But I don't know. I guess I'm stupid, but slowly but surely. Our governments have changed into a much more oppressive regime. Kind of had to because the government, because otherwise lots of rebellions will pop up and we really don't need that. We really don't need that. Okay, and we need to have one more closed factory. Okay. France, I mean, S Spanish are definitely fighting us for um, the communist, the communist, uh, Spain, which... You know, it stinks, but, you know, it's not much we can really do about it. And winery is collapsed. That isn't necessarily good. Belgium goes bankrupt. Well, it's, I think it's completely occupied right now, so. Yeah, it's completely occupied, so. Yeah, it kind of makes sense. I wouldn't expect them to be having money or, or rolling in the dough right now, so. And I'm just kind of waiting for all my new armies to be made. So I had a lot petitioned. Neosethetical theory. Quite right, sir. Quite right. Okay. And flick police state. Would that work for us? That would only work. Actually, this could actually work for us because um, we are communists. That sounds really bad. Uh, I guess. I'm really not digging this communist state right now, but I can I change it yet? No, I can't change it. And, but this rebellion, that's this, what? How are you guys even joining? How, why would you guys even want to join? I mean, I'm being pretty nice right now. I'm communist too, so I don't know what you guys would change me from. A communist to a communist? That makes no sense. That literally makes no sense. And, you know what, maybe we could get these people out of power if we hold an election. But I don't know. I really don't know, and I should probably be keeping my ships in good formations around the world. Okay. More factories are starting to collapse. Steam yard, we actually do need to keep open. Because steam yards help us with production. Um, what else? 
artillery really is not much of a big factor anymore. Oh, it's paper. Well, artillery aren't really that big of a factor. If they collapse, I'm not going to reopen them. Right, we are definitely rolling in the dough right now, though. I'm really loving this. Okay. Um, we have lots of problems, though, with our... With our French army not being... We want to be very particular because we're trying to... Okay, every single one of these... <laughs> Every single one of these places are protectionist, so apparently we did something right, because everyone, every single party realizes that the only way to gain the votes is you have to be a protectionist government. That's good, at least we did something right, we eliminated free trade in our, in our capitalist, oh shoot, I completely forgot about this, we had one more army, dang it! Okay, so we have one army that we can kind of idolize and kind of base off of all of our other infantry on, um, yeah, how's our building, our building our new army? We have lots of materials that we're going to have to take in. Yeah, this is going to take a long time. A long time. But at least we're starting to, like, help ourselves out. Steel factory, um, I might keep that open. Depending. Um, steel factory, I'll keep that open. Let's keep that open. And we got our electrical companies, which are... Trying to topple the German monopoly. Nonsense. Yeah, seriously, it's nonsense. And how's our political party loyalty doing? Okay, we're starting to, like, change... We're starting to, like, change the output of the communists in these places. That's really good. How are we doing in our colony front? Holy shoot, these guys are very much in favor of communism. That's not good. Okay, and then... The communist... Victory, 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 intervention. Invention. Yay! It's always a good sign. Okay, but for the rest, not really a good sign. Um, definitely communism is definitely becoming a big part of the world. Even in Sweden, which I thought was one of the most uh, conservative parties ever, they're actually seeing a lot of communists starting to pop up everywhere. No, we are not secularized. We are trying to de-promote that as much as possible. Um, conservatism, royalists are trying to take control over these regions. I'm promoting this as much as possible. Um, socialism is definitely very popular with the masses. There is no doubt about it. They are winning the vast majority of these places. So we really gotta, you know, step up our game and make sure that the places win alright. So these places, I think, just are barely enough to win. So I'm gonna go transfer some of our national focus from them. Um, Breton just, I think, very strongly our, in our favor over here, Le Monde, Le Monde, I think, so I think it works the way is that if you're highly industrialized, or highly industrialized places, they usually become the most communist, okay, and this is a part of my new, uh, British force, and, um, scientist, discovery, theologian, whatever, you guys can read it if you guys want to, I'm not, I'm not particularly big on that whole entire re-gigantic text thing because my voice isn't a soothing ocean. So, yeah. Okay, let's go right over here. And we have level 5 forts over here. I just realized that. Yeah, this is a pretty well armored up division. We have a little bit of a weak line right here. This is like our weak spot. Though, I doubt the Germans are ever going to be able to do a Blitzenkrieg. I mean, I doubt it. They're not that... These aren't the Germans that we know of our timeline. These are kind of sissy Germans. And that's just that's just me being honest. That's not talking about... And oh my goodness, Romania! You actually did something! You actually did a conquest of your own! I'm so happy of you guys. And I think you have a stable government. You guys are communists just like me, so I think that's helping out. But dang, good job, Romania! You actually expanded just a little bit, so you guys aren't so pathetic. But now you guys just really need to take over Moldavia. Because otherwise, this is really not going to be that much of a of a great thing. And you really need to conquer back Luthenia. That's really where you really need to succeed in your conquest. Because Luthenia somehow broke away from you. And that was severely sad. In all aspects of the word. Just sad. I mean, how could Luthenia break away from a mighty nation like you, Romania? Just, it's, it breaks my heart sometimes. Okay, so I got, some of these soldiers should be made. Um, we're still, I think we're still acquiring the materials. And over here, where's the biggest port? Mombasa. I'll increase it. Um, let's build a port right here. Um, 
Mubasa. I love. M oh, I can't build a Mubasa. Dang it! I love Mubasa. Cause it's so much of a fun word to say, Mubasa. Okay. Uh, free trade. We are not particularly fond of free trade in our country. I'm gonna be honest with you. It's a very much a no-no. It's almost an unheard of no-no. Okay, extend that factory. Dang, we have so much to do. Just like so much. I mean, right now, the fastest are cut. No. Oh. Oh no, it's starting. So, the fascist party has begun organizing soup kitchens for the unemployed in one of our states, citing the need to protect and preserve the Puritan French industrial workers from the ravages of internal capitalism. Several other parties, along with leading liberals and conservative dailies, have expressed a sharp criticism of the party's work, claiming that in the end amounts to less than bribery and the biting of voter support. The fascists themselves do not seem overly concerned about these accusations. Okay. So, everyone, as you know, and as you guys may not believe it, and may not. Actually, I think you guys should believe this, because this is actually very true. I've been pretty lenient about parties taking over. I've been pretty lenient about, you know, having conservative parties like, like the um, capitalists, the uh, communists, the liberals, the ultra-liberals, and the uh, reactionaries. I've been pretty lenient about them all being my country, because I have to. But fascism is just, a, it's just, I can't accept fascism in any form or any way. It's just not a good government type. It's a horrible, horrible government oppressive regime, and I just cannot take it. Right now, I do have communism on, so don't, yes, I'm being a little bit, communism is definitely also another, like, big, gigantic political spiel, and not political spiel, but just another oppressive government, but I kind of had to choose communism so you know I'll switch back in about a couple of days but we need to I'm trying to like get my people back to like because I think what happens is that if the supporting if the communists are in power I think it'll actually give the conservatives more power because I think it'll give more events towards geared towards the um conservative power so I'm hoping that that's what will happen so that's why I'm keeping them in power and because I also need to build factories but anyways um um, this is just a ruse to build up party and end this nonsense. Yes, that's what I'm gonna do. Every time the the stupid fascists have any type of event to like gain political support or to try to gain mass mass validity in my country, I'm just gonna say nope and try to conquer them or try to just kick them out. Conservatism, wow, is just like so hated in my country. Wow. Um, I I maybe I'm wrong. Maybe it's maybe my country's naturally supposed to. Luke. How is that even possible? Wait a minute, how is that even possible? Well, you know, as they say, I don't really care because they don't have Paris. Yeah, they don't have Paris, so I don't really care. So everyone just start, you know, just casually start hunting rebels. Um, we really don't need to be worrying ourselves too, too much with this. This isn't really that much big. And I'm pretty sure a couple of our allies will come and help us. At least a couple. Not very many, but at least a couple. So let me see. Any particular... Okay. And since the communists tried to take power, um... Yeah, as soon as I can, I'm switching the party. Yeah. Me, no, no, no. You guys don't get to just choose power and then think I'm not going to go away with it. And apparently I lost a lot of my uh, recently made men that stinks. I'm not going to give you 14-hour work days. I've already said that many times. The capitalists don't believe in it, and I don't believe in it either. Okay, we have a lot of, just, a lot of men just being Christianized. I mean, I wish I could support my men to the maximum amount of viability, but the problem is, yeah, we have a lot of, we have a lot of just made men, so they're just trying to, like, deal with this situation. I mean, it's like, I mean, what can they really do? I mean, they just, they're just newly trained men, just in the French Royal Army. They can't really do much, and... Um, I might, if I want to get this under control quick, I probably should go mobilize, but I really don't think it's quite a mobilization effort yet. It's definitely a little bit of concern, but it's not like, it's not like to the point of concern where I really have to get, I mean, I've had worse rebellions when I'm French. Oh, the rebellion problems I've had with France have been legendary. Like, not in this campaign, not in this campaign. This campaign's been pretty tame in terms of rebellions. I mean, we've had a couple, but they haven't been, like... 
they haven't been like severely damaging. But I've had a couple campaigns where I've just like lost so much to like 500,000 rebels and not 500,000 it's probably about 5,000 rebels in total but that's still a lot and it's still like damaged oh my goodness I could never recover from that let me just say that right now it was so hard to recover it took me a long long longer time to ever get that back under control okay so our men are just we'll get this all back under control eventually um, our men are dying. That's not particularly good for business. I'm going to go have these guys try to avoid the other men, but apparently they can't learn. Communists and socialists got 54 of the vote. The royalists are dying quite rapidly. Um, yeah, the royalists, I think... I, I almost think we should switch over to liberalism, but... I don't like laissez-faire. Laissez-faire is a worst government type. I mean, it's interventionism on steroids. It's like the worst. I don't... Nah. No, I'm not going to do that. Okay, but what I am going to do is keep building new factories. Since I have the production and the means to do it. Because that's what all you need. is just the means and the production to do everything you need to do. And just keep like building up my industry. Because if I'm going to have to be communist, I'll be communist my own way. Okay, we're still hunting down all these new deserter armies and building up an army in the same plight. I'm hoping the Germans and I have a pretty good relationship right now, right? Yeah, they will. They don't have the means to declare war on me yet. And that rebellion is just outside of my sphere. Still don't know why I haven't built any of my men over here. Because we have no canned food. That could be a problem. And Brazil, oh no. What did you do, Brazil? The ungrateful government of Brazil has seized our investments and claimed them as their own. What? Brazil, really? Uh This will not stand. We gain a puppet causes belly against Brazil. <sighs> or let them be. Oh my goodness. That's a toughie. Because if I let them go, if I let them go, that shows weakness on my part. If I, if I get the cause of Spelly and say that this will not stand, I'm going to have to use it. And that means I'm going to have to conquer Brazil. And that means I'm basically oppressing a medium nation, which has, or a minor nation, which has always been, which has always been the opposite of my goals in this campaign, is not to oppress people and to be very much a free government and free reigning in terms of freeing other nations from autonomous and these guys clearly gained their independence a, a long time ago so I'll let them be wow you guys became really 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 uh yeah I have nothing else to say that except wow my government's nice <laughs> uh we're gaining control back under... Gain, kill these rebels. Seriously, they're not that big. Okay. Yeah, we're getting... We got control back under our country. I'm gonna go move these guys over here. No! Move! Move! Outside of the rebels. Don't move directly towards the rebels. There we go. Ah. Man. You know, sometimes I hate this and... The Toms? Oh! <gasps> Yay! Yay! We have the Toms back! Uh, no, 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 I'm, I'm gonna ignore that. We have the Toms back! Yes! Oh, yeah, I love the Toms. I don't love the so I don't love the communist look. It doesn't feel natural or nice. Hmm. Okay, my people are just finishing off this. I'm gonna go move this army over here. You guys combine. Eh. Gonna have a little bit of problems for a little bit for our regaining control, but for the most part, this was a pretty tame organization. I really wish I could suppress the uh, French communists or ban them. I think what I'd need to do is, like, get reaction. Why can't I get this? Okay, May 13th. Oh my goodness, that's in a couple of days, so let's just speed up the time. Because I really want to change my government. Let's do this. 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Excellent. 13th, 14th. 15. Okay, now that I can change my government. What? 
Oh, May 21st, sorry. 17, 18, we're almost there, we're almost there, almost there. Yes, okay. Okay, mass politics. Droning, yay! All right. So, with that, everyone, everyone's kind of wondering, what, why did I just do that? Well, I guess I'll have to explain next time. See you guys next time.